hi guys and welcome back to my channel if you'd like to see how i transform my beautiful daughter from this to this deliberately using the wrong color foundation but bringing it back stay tuned so let's start off first i just cleaned her face with some wipes and then i put on the smashbox primerizer um primer and then i mattified her brows and if you can see i was initially going to use my um p louise but when i used it i don't know what was going on today it just wasn't working i don't know what i did wrong i usually you know leave it let it set let it go a bit tacky and, and before i blend it but it just wasn't working so anyway i initially did that and then i started to carve out her brows with um just normal pencils i can't remember what they're called i'll put them in the description box so yeah i'm just carving out her brows as you can see brushing it into place and carving it carving it carving it yeah so i went on to the other side and then i used um my la girl in i think i used chestnut to carve out her brows just to clean it up a little bit and ting -a -ling, -a ling as you do and then like I was saying, I was initially going to use the P. Louise to, to, and I did. The thing is, I did. Let me not lie. I done two different looks and I didn't like it. So anyway, in the end, I just mixed P. Louise with a bit of the, um, what do you call it? LA Girl Pro Conceal. Um, and this was the third look I did because I was, was not happy with the looks I was doing. So I used the Zulu palette and I used the brown in the Zulu palette to initially start off her um transition um well start off the transition basically so I, it ended up being a one palette look um yeah because i was just i don't know why where everything i was doing just i wasn't liking it it was a, looking back now editing and looking at the looks i actually created before this one it was actually all right they were actually all right but it's just me i don't know sometimes i can just be a perfectionist so yeah and because um I, I i was intending to use the wrong color foundation just to show you guys that even when you use the wrong color foundation you can always bring it back with the different um color powders that you use so that's really what this whole um tutorial is more about but obviously i had to do a look so i did that look you know what i mean so anyway i used the green in the zulu palette as well um, and then I used the purple in the Zulu palette and I was just, you know, laying them down first and then, um, you know, blending them together. But I felt like it needed a little bit more colouring. So um, I then ended up putting the blue. I think you can see I tested it out on my arm and I was like, yeah, I'm going to use that one very soon. Very soon. It'll be getting into the eyes you know you'll be getting into the eyes into the look you know what i'm saying so yeah initially i did um i just put the green in the thing and i thought now nah, the blue the blue will let it pop you know what i mean so then you see that i'm now patting the blue in place so i put it in between the purple and the green to make it a more gradient smoother transition from the green to the blue to the purple basically so i'm just patting everything in place really just making sure everything looks good cleaned away any excess that dropped on her eyes or any fallout and then i you know obviously i haven't been able to do anyone's makeup in this lockdown um, so I haven't even really tried out this new underplating that I do as opposed to putting on the foundation first. So it's the first time I was using it on my daughter. I went in first with the LA Girl Pro Conceal in Chestnut. Um, and I'm just patting everything in place as you can see. Just pat, pat, patting everything in place as you do. Um, please like share subscribe guys i'm gonna i need to remember to say that to remind you guys and press that notification button as well you know what i mean and here you can see i use quite a light foundation i thought okay sylvia again a bit too excited so there you can see i was just adding a bit of 380 maybelline fit me but i initially went in with my 362 maybelline and 380 and i thought that no, was a bit too light and so I put in a little bit more 380 and what I just wanted to show you guys is even if you 
use the wrong colour foundation, you can always come back from it. Obviously, my daughter's face is a little bit darker than her neck, so I had to blend everything down to her neck, which then obviously allowed it to blend into her chest. Which so basically, I basically used the found the shade of her chest as opposed to her her actual face and her neck. Then I set my highlighter in place or her highlighter in place with made uh, sorry with um, Revolution Pro in warm golden yeah i use warm golden so i'm just patting it everywhere in place as you can see just patting and patting then i went in with um dark was it dark oh gosh yeah with dark to pat everything else in place let ev set everything else in place so obviously because obviously i went down her neck i'll also be patting it down her neck as well just to show you guys that you can always come back from, you know, thinking that, you know, a foundation is too light or too dark. And then I went in with the um, Makeup Revolution um, Glow Palette and I initially used the dark just to bring back the colours in her face, bring back the natural shadings in her face. So I use that more or less as a contour as well as um, setting things in place as well. And then I went in with the um, Rich Dark um, Revolution Pro CC Powder. Okay, so that's how I brought back all her colouring, her natural colourings to her face basically. Here you can just see me setting her brows in place. Um, with my Colourpop um, eyebrow gel in dark brown then I just wanted to warm up her cheeks a little bit so I used Bella, Bella, the Bella shade from the Juvia's Place from Juvia's Place then I set everything in place for her with my Mario Badescu rose water it's got rose water and other stuff I'll put it in the description then I um, wanted to go back in with the Bella blush to blend the two. Oh, did I miss out? Oh gosh, did I? Oh dear me, look what me I do. Look what me I do. I've taken out the whole glowy bit. So I used um, Makeup Revolution Glow Palette. Well, that's it there, but for some reason you don't see me using it on the cheeks. And that's why you can see me then blending the blush into it. Because it gives it a lovely glowy look. So that's what I did. And then I just wanted to show you guys, because like I said, I've been doing my makeup on myself, how to use the, um, or how to put your eyelashes on this way. So you put the glue on the lash line, then you put it on the lash itself, and then, hey presto, you stick it in place, like I've been showing you guys that I'm doing on myself, and it really, really does work. It really is so much easier. It really, really is easier. So then I went in with the Rimmel, um, miraculous eyeliner just to widen up her eyes a little bit make them a bit brighter a bit bigger then i went in with exactly the same shades that i've gone in with on the top so the green the blue and then the purple to smoke out her under eye so that's what i'm doing here i'm just patting everything in place and Patting in place as opposed to str um, str swiping is so much better because you can control the amount of great um, amount of product that you use. You can also control as as much as possible any fallout, and also you can control how pigmented you want it to look. Yeah, so that's why you pat as opposed to swipe. Okay, obviously if I was doing more of a natural look i might not pat as much because i might not want as much product on my lids if that makes sense yeah so here i'm just um coating her eyes with a bit of my kat von d mascara and guys i'm really sorry because i feel like the angle of how i did her makeup it doesn't it's not really this is the first time again i was using a cam the camera 
on anybody do you get what i mean usually i i i control everything when i'm sitting down i can see where i'm positioned and stuff because i was to the side it's a little bit more difficult then i use i think that's maybelline lipstick i forgot and then i just put some um one pound lip gloss over it and then i just cleaned it up a little bit let me not lie this was like another like palaver with the lipsticks so I, I just yeah so i set everything in place again and then i pressed in the um the the setting spray then i got this um glitter lipstick i forgot what it's called it'll be in the description box and i thought let me put that on and that was it guys that was the finished look i hope you like it guys um as you can see i've taken out the whole process of putting loose powder like my laura mercier and there you can see that it all goes together that's what i wanted to show that it all blends nicely it all goes with her color tone it all goes with her undertones so that's what i wanted to prove to you guys that you can bring it back if you make a mistake and use the wrong foundation colors with a deeper coloring of um powders all right so please like share comment subscribe hit the notification button so that you can stalk me only via youtube i beg you i beg you i still have my um online lessons as well hit me up for that as well guys take care stay blessed bye